Hello everyone and welcome back to Bird Nerd. Today we're going to be talking about house finches. These birds are really interesting. So without ado, let's get into the video. House finches can be found across the US, most of Mexico, as well as in some parts of Canada. Fun fact, house finches are only partially native to the United States. They are native to the Southwest US, but are a more recent introduction to the East. Some pet shop owners located in New York City in the 1940s were illegally selling house finches, but they released them to avoid getting in trouble. The finches survived and began to breed and spread across New York, and soon across more of the eastern U.S. House finches were also introduced to Hawaii from San Francisco sometime before 1870. Both male and female house finches have a notched tail and seed-eating bill. Female and immature house finches have an overall drab brown body with streaks down the stomach. The adult males have a streaky brown tail, stomach, and back, similar to the females and immatures, but the males also have a beautiful red around their face and upper chest. The red comes from pigments found in their food. Lack of the pigments can cause a duller red, or even orange or yellow plumage, whereas eating a lot of food rich in the pigments will make the males a bright, brilliant red, making it more attractive to a female. House finches look very similar to a purple finch. One of the main ways to tell males apart is a brighter concentrated red color on a house finch, but a raspberry color spread across the majority of a purple finch's body. I will link a great resource in the description if you want to look into other distinguishing features. House finches pretty much only consume plant materials. The majority of their diet is made up of seeds from weeds as well as buds and flower parts in spring and berries or other fruits in the late summer and fall. They may also consume a few small insects here or there. House finches nest in a variety of locations including trees, ivy, vents, planters, buildings, as well as on some cactuses or ledges. Sometimes they will use abandoned nests from other birds. Built mostly by the female, the nest is made of grass, leaves, weeds, string, feathers, and thin twigs. Often, the finer materials are used to line the inside of the nest. After that is finished, the female lays pale, blue or white, black or purple speckled eggs. They are incubated for about two weeks until naked, helpless babies hatch. A rarity in the bird world, the nestlings are fed pretty much only plant material. House finches are very social and can normally be seen in large flocks outside of the breeding season. These flocks will often forage together on the ground or up in fruit-bearing trees or bushes. Excluding a few areas in western North America, house finches' population has increased between 1966 and 2015. With an estimated global breeding population of 40 million, house finches are of low concern. Although their population did have a large decline starting in 1994 due to house finch eye disease, an illness that causes red, swollen, crusty eyes and respiratory problems, there is still a large population of house finches. Well, that is all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about house finches as much as I did. If you liked this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.